Canva has several photo editing tools that allow you to create some pretty neat effects for your designs, including this motion blur effect, which is what we're going to work on today. This works best with photos that have a little bit of action to them. Maybe someone is jumping or running, swimming, cycling, something along those lines. But it can also be used to create some interesting backgrounds as well, which I'll show you at the very end. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catterday. Let's get to it. Here are just a few examples of how you can use this motion blur effect with these subjects. You can see I've also added uh, some words right here just to give it like a little bit of interest. So the first thing you want to do is find a photo. So let's go over here to a new design and I'm going to click on a photo. This works best if the subject in the photo has a lot of color. You can see there's a lot of color going on right here. And as we get a little farther into the design process, I'll show you why you kind of need to use a subject with a lot of color. So we're going to click on this photo, click edit photo. And in order to use this effect, we actually have to switch to the old Canva editor. At the time of this recording, Canva has updated the photo editing tools and some of the apps that were in the old editor are not yet available in the new one. So we're gonna switch to the old one temporarily. And yes, you can switch back and forth. So you're gonna go over here to where it says you're using the new photo editor to use the old experience. Click here, which we'll click. And then click revert to the old editor just like that. And now we're ready to change this photo. Click on edit image, click background remover. Yes, background remover is part of the new experience as well, but the next step does need the old editor. That's why we needed to switch. So we have our image right here. I'm just gonna move this over and duplicate it like that. You can see when I duplicated, it didn't keep my background. That's okay, we can just remove the background of that one. There we go. So we're going to go to this image, the one on the left, and next you're going to click edit image. And then you want to choose the app called Pixelate. Now, if you don't see it here in recently used, or you've never used any of these external apps before, you can just scroll this list and it will be here that you can just click on it. So I'm going to click Pixelate. And once you're inside this menu, you want to click on the option that says pixel. And then click on these little controls that are right here in the center. You can see right there, I'm gonna click on those. We're going to make some adjustments. We've got horizontal pixels and vertical pixels. And right now they're both set to 50. We're gonna change these. For vertical, we're gonna take these all the way up to 200. You can see as I'm adjusting the pixels, what it's doing to that photo. And then for horizontal pixels, we're just gonna drag this down to zero. I'm gonna drag it all the way down. And there you go, you've got that blur look right there. Then you just take the second image, the one that you had duplicated, and you're going to drag it so that it sort of covers this divider line right here. So I'm just gonna click and drag, bring that over right about there. And then let's just bring this up a little bit so that that blur kind of comes to the edge of our page right there. And you've just created that effect. Now you can take this one step farther. If you want to blur this just a little bit more, because right now the lines are um, a little strong, maybe you want to bring that down just a little bit. So click edit image, and then you want to click on these adjustments right here, click on see all, and there is a blur option right here. And just bring it a couple of pixels, maybe, maybe two, three, four, something like that. There you go. And that's how we've created it. It's so super easy. And then if you want to, you can just add some words to this. So let me just add some text T on my keyboard and let's just type the word jump. And we're going to change this font to something a little more bold. And then let's bring it up a little bit. Here we go. Bring your font down. So it's right about kind of there. Actually, let's bring it up a little bit more. There we go. Change the font color to whatever you want. I'm gonna use white for right now. So click on white. And then you want to take this font and you wanna bring it back one layer. So go to your position tab, click on layers, and you wanna bring, bring your text so that's behind your subject like that. Then you can simply duplicate it, place it directly on top, and we're going to give it an outline photo effect. You're just gonna go over here to where it says hollow, 
And then just bring this thickness down a little bit like that. And then let's just add a color background to this. We'll just pull, uh, we'll just put one of my brand colors in there. There you go. It's that easy, truly, it's that easy. So let's go find another photo. Let's get rid of that background. I'm gonna grab this one right here. You can see there's a lot of color here as well. So we'll click the same process, edit image, remove the background. We're gonna drag this over and duplicate. The old editor, it gets a little finicky. So sometimes you have to remove the background a second time on that second photo. Then we're gonna click on this first photo, click edit image, go back to pixelate, click on pixel, click those controls, drag the vertical slider and the horizontal slider, and we have the exact same effect. And then you can take your subject and just place it right on top like that. Now I mentioned that you need a photo with a lot of color, a subject that has a lot of color. And let me show you why. Because with certain photos, the effect doesn't quite work like it's supposed to. So let me go find this image right here. So it's colorful. You can see there's a lot of color in there, but you can also see there is a lot of flesh tone colors here. And sometimes the Pixelate app doesn't quite resonate so well with that. So let me show you what happens. Click on edit image and we're going to remove the background. And then I'm going to click edit image again. I'm not going to duplicate it for the time being, but I'm going to show you what happens. Click edit image, click on pixelate, click on pixel and click on those controls. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to drag the vertical pixels to 200, but watch what happens when I start to drag the horizontal pixels. As I drag them, it looks like it's coming together, but then when we get to the very end, uh, look what happened. We kind of lost some definition right here. And this tends to happen with images where, the, where there's a lot of flesh tones that are visible within the photo. So you want to make sure that you're using a photo that has a lot of color within the subject like this, something that's got clothing or something that has a lot of color in there for it to work like that. I also mentioned that there's ways that you can take this pixel effect and use it for background. So we're gonna do that next. I'm gonna grab a background photo right here. This is a really cool picture. And actually I'm gonna flip this around the other direction like that. So we're going to duplicate this photo. I'm gonna set this over to the side. Now for this one, because it's going to be a background, I'm not gonna remove anything. I'm gonna go straight to the pixel effect. So I'm gonna click on edit image. I'm gonna click pixelate. And then you're gonna click on pixel. Click on those controls, bring those vertical pixels across, bring the horizontal pixels across. And it gives us this kind of really neat, like rainbow look to this background. So we can use it just like it is like that. You could even maybe take this effect and take your other photo. Let's bring this over here and let's change the layer. There we go to the front. And you can do some really cool things where you're combining these two photos together, something fun like that. But what we want to do with this instead is take this, we're just going to set this as our background image. And next we're going to take, now you can leave it this way, it's fine, but we're going to take it one step farther, click on this image, and we're going to blur this a little bit more than we did with our first photo. So we're going to click on these adjustments here. And this time we're gonna drag this blur slider a little bit more. So we're just gonna keep dragging until we get the desired effect that we want. You could do something like that. You can drag it a little bit more or you can drag it all the way across and get sort of this gradient look to this particular image. So it gives you a fun way to create like background images. Let's go do another one. We're gonna grab this one right here, clicking on the edit image, I'm gonna click on pixel. And then we're going to, again, bring those vertical pixels, bring the horizontal pixels. That's really pretty. I like that one. I'm going to set this as our background like that. I can leave it like this, or once again, I can click on it and I can apply that blur effect. Just go over here, 
bring it like that if I want to, like that, or I can bring it all the way so it gives me a really fun little gradient look like that. One other thing that I do want to point out from time to time, if you have a subject, there's a few occasions where when you remove the background and then start to do the pixelate, you might notice that it doesn't go all the way. So let me show you. I'm going to take this uh, subject right here and I'm actually going to flip him the other way. Let's go to edit image. We're going to remove the background first. Then we're going to take him and duplicate and move that over there. Let's get rid of that background. Okay, so we have our subject right here. Click on edit image, pixelate, click on pixel, click on those controls, grab vertical, grab horizontal. I have one little section right here that didn't exactly go the way as planned. For the most part, it looks okay, but you can see I've got that little empty space and that's because the hand of this subject right here or possibly his sneakers didn't quite compute with the pixelate effect. So here's how you can fix that. If it's in a solid color section, you can see I've got blue right here and I've got blue right here. The way you can fix that is to simply duplicate your pixelated image. And then you can just crop it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring it down here to the blue, bring this up here like that. And then you can just sort of piece it in there like that and bring my subject all the way to the front. So he's all the way up in the front like that. Whoops, not quite position, bring him to the front. There we go. So you can kind of do it that way. Let's bring this down just a little bit more so you see a little more blue. There you go, something along those lines. You can kind of play with this if you have a few sections that don't quite work out the way they were supposed to. There are some background images that don't always work so well. So you'll want to kind of play with this. For instance, if I were to take this image right here and click edit image, pixelate, I'm gonna drag the verticals, I'm gonna drag the horizontals. But when I do that, see how they kind of get lost a little bit? It's picking up only one of those primary colors. So just play around with this to get the actual effect that you're looking for. You'll find that some photos are a little hit or miss, but for the most part, as long as you are working with a subject that has a lot of color in them or a background image that is a little more on the muted side, for instance, the one that we did momentarily, this one right here, where we had those muted colors, those seem to work best with this pixelate effect. If this was helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see my videos in the future. That's all for this week. See you next time.